This short video will introduce you to the SkySwitch WebCentrex reseller portal. The first thing you see when you log into the reseller portal is a statistics page showing you all of the traffic for the domains within this reseller account. You can think of a domain as a customer group. Here we see calls per hour for the past 24 hours, calls per day for the past 10 days, and at the bottom a pie chart showing all of the registered devices per domain. You'll notice as I mouse over each slice of the pie, it shows the number of devices that are within that customer group. You navigate through the portal using the icons across the top of the page. Starting on the right hand side, I'm clicking the inventory icon. As a reseller, you have two types of inventory, phone numbers and phone hardware. Phone numbers are DIDs that you can source from any DID provider or from SkySwitch. Phone hardware are the actual SIP devices that will be assigned by you to your customer groups. The next icon is the call history icon. These are basic CDRs that you can filter to show any call within the platform. The next icon is the SIP trunks icon. As a reseller, you'll typically be selling two types of service, either a SIP trunk for a customer that already has an IP PBX and just needs a call path, or a full featured seat, which would be part of a virtual PBX. If you're selling SIP trunks, setting them up is simple. Just click the SIP trunk button and you get a form here. The form has several basic settings. Uh, you only need to input the IP address or fully qualified domain name of the equipment of your customer and then set certain choices such as the number of call paths that you're going to allow that customer including an inbound limit, an outbound limit, and a total limit. The SIP trunking feature has been tested with all major IPPBX brands and is very simple to create and set up. The next icon is the domains icon. This is where you actually create your customer groups. Adding a new customer domain is a matter of clicking the add domain button which will bring up a form. This form allows you to set the defaults for this customer group. The relevant parts of this form are the type of domain, whether it's residential or enterprise, the status, whether it's active or locked, the default dial permission, time zone, and area code for seven digit dialing, as well as caller name, caller ID, and emergency caller ID. Towards the bottom of this form, we have limits, which are very important. These are typically the kinds of things that you would charge your customers for. And you can create limits per customer group, including an active call limit, a limit of maximum users, maximum departments, maximum number of phones, conference bridges, auto attendance, and call queues. By completing this form and clicking add, your new customer group will be created and will be available in the domain listing page. Managing a domain is a simple matter. You just type in the first couple letters or digits of that domain's name. The smart search feature will show you all the matches. You select that, select that domain and click on the link. This brings us to the next view in the reseller portal, which is the office manager or domain manager view.